I first stumbled on the Bomber jacket in 2011 and it was um, a jacket that was worn by Kanye West um, while he performed at the Victoria's Secret show. Now when I saw that jacket, I fell in love immediately and of course, I tried to make it at the time but of course I failed because I didn't have the right amount of experience. Fast forward to around 2013, then I saw it on Kanye West again. Um, he went to a company called Alpha Industries and you know took a jacket from them called the ME1 bomber jacket and then now redesigned it and sold it as um, his merch for the tour that he was doing the user store at this time I was ready I attempted it and I got it right so this is my story with the bomber jacket when I found out about the ME1 I discovered that the Alpha Industries is the number one company when it comes to making bomber jackets if you if you want your work to be the best you know you try to be as good as the best that's there already and possibly beat them so at this point I have still not beaten them so so that is my story when it comes to the bomber jacket and it's time for you, for you guys to start your own adventure. You're welcome to the video. Now in this video I will show you guys how to easily draft a bomber jacket. Now um, this method I use it for both males and females. So yeah this is like it's um, a unisex um, method that you can use to cut your bomber jacket. So the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to um, fold your fabric. So to fold your fabric what you would have what you need is the biggest measurement. Now if you guys notice in the um, measurements um, and the measurements that I showed you guys, I have only my bust measurements as a measurement that goes around my body because that's the biggest part of the person of, of the person's body that we are dealing with. Remember, it's a jacket, it's not a dress, so it doesn't get to her hip. So for the top part of her body, her bust is the, is the biggest part. If the person's belly is bigger than the person's bust, then that's what you're going to need to use um, as your as um, the guide when you are folding your fabric. So we're dealing with a bust of 40. The allowance we'll be adding is 2 inches, okay? So, um now the first thing we're going to do is of course fold your fabric if you notice i have folded my fabric okay now the next thing is if you are using um uh, Ankara like what I'm using if you are using some, some some other fabrics you might not need to do this but most fabrics have um, this branding on the edge so first thing I do is I cut it off but if you are if you like spent a uh, hundred dollars or six years of um, Vlisco and you want to flex on everybody and leave and um, leave your branding there you can you can also do that okay we won't judge you so now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to place the shoulder at the top at the top edge of the fabric okay so now the shoulder we're dealing with is a shoulder of 15 okay but sorry before we begin we're going to need to draw half inch in front of our pattern now this half inch is um, the allowance that we're going is the it's um, the allowance that we're going to use to fix the zipper okay so in front here I'm drawing a line from top all the way down at half an inch okay so half an inch is what we're going to do to fix the zipper now at the top i'm also going to place half an inch too at the top all right so we have half an inch at the top you can see the white line i know the camera is picking up the white line that line represents my shoulder this line in front this line in front here represents the front of my jacket okay that's the white line we have over here okay now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to start placing my um all my um, vertical measurements all right so from up here you can see i'm placing my yardstick from this point here okay so uh, i'm placing my tape on this point you can also use the yardstick like i was using and at this point we're going to place all the um vertical measurements so the only vertical measurements that we need here is the under bust length okay and the reason why we need the under bust length is just so that we will know where to place our bust okay because for finding my bust point what i do is i count four inches from my under bust length so we have an under bust length of um 14 meaning our bus will sit at 10 okay one two three four okay so this is where i place my bus points okay if you want to know how i um draft a body please watch the first very first video on the, on the channel but that's what we're doing basically okay so here's the bus points the under bus um length that is now not useful anymore because all this all this under bus length was doing for us is telling us where to place our bust all right so now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to make a mark at where the jacket is supposed to stop so the length of the jacket is is 24 okay that is where i have made the mark at the bottom sorry let me move this one up a bit so you can see here 24 that's where i have made a mark all right so this is the top part this is the bottom part this is the boss point right now what you're going to do is you're going to rule a line 
across this point and then after that the next thing we're going to do is you're also going to roll a line across this point too okay so now that we have all these points down the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start placing all our horizontal measurements so now the first horizontal measurements that were now when i say horizontal measurements these are measurements that go around your body your bust your hip your belly your waist your you know measurements where the tape goes around your body as a whole all right so um but the shoulder is also a um horizontal measurement even though the tape doesn't go around your body okay so that's how we're going to place it we're going to come to the top the shoulder that we are dealing with is the shoulder is 15 15 divided by 2 because the shoulder is always divided by 2 in most cases um, 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 i've made a mark at 7.5 now if you see where you can watch and see where i'm placing my tape look at where i'm placing it after that half inch line the half very first line that is that i drew if you can see i'm taking it from the very first line that i drew now the next measurement i'm going to place is our bust measurement so the bust measurement is 40 40 divided by 4 is um by 4 is 10 so i'm going to come here and i'm going to make a mark at 10 all right so then i'm going to simply place whatever i place at the bus i'm going to place it at the bottom now the bomber jacket is not a pencil dress it's not um it's not supposed to be very very it's not supposed to fit snugly around your um body i'm also placing 10 too at the, at the bottom that's because the bomber jacket has a bit of a boxy shape all right it's not supposed to it's not supposed to sit around the contours of your body so most of them are designed to have um, almost like um a um an oversized shape even though most the ones i'm seeing these are a bit slim fit and there's nothing wrong with that but the traditional one has a bit of a boxy shape which is what we're going for um now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to place our neckline width and our neckline depth now the neckline width is the wideness of a neckline you guys should know that already so for the neckline width here i'm going to use a neckline width of three inches okay that is six but six divided by um two three that's what i'm placing from here to here okay so i've placed my neckline width at three inches the next thing i'm going to do is, pl is place my neckline depth i'm also placing my neckline depth too at three inches all right so i'm placing my neckline depth three inches right and then at this point so you can see we have we have an angle at this point here it's at this point i'm going to now make an arc you see and now we have the curve for the neckline all right now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to make a slope your shoulder is not straight as you can see so from this point now i'm going to make a slope um to where one inch is so you see the shoulder mark i have here i'm coming to this point and i'm going to make a mark down here you see this point okay if i leave the shoulder up there you're going to end up looking like um a character out of dragon ball z with the shoulders all swollen or better still power rangers you know um, megatron oh sorry voltron yeah they, they, it's endless all right so so that we don't um, have a shoulder that looks like um a zoot suit out of tom and jerry you're going to have to slope your shoulder by one inch and which is what i have done the next thing all right so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to um place my armhole measurement now how do we find our armhole the formula for finding your armhole is your bust divided by six plus one point five all right so we're going to come from here you see this point where i'm placing my yardstick okay i'm not placing my yardstick from here i'm placing it from here so if you divide 40 by 6 plus 1.5 you're going to end up having 8.1 okay and please use a calculator you know it's not every single um, measurement that you can always you know fold your tape you know the way we fold our tape to get our bust like if i was dealing with a bust of of 40 and i had an issue with dividing it in my head i can do 40 okay 40 you see 40 right there and then i can collapse my tape like this and then i'll know that i'll see that it is 10 and place it for the armhole do not do that because you cannot it's very it, it will be then impossible to fold your tape into six places okay um so the armhole i have is 8.1 i'm going to place it at eight mark it at eight inches okay i'm going to approximate it to eight all right so i'm going to come from here draw a line from up here to here you see this point here that's the point where we marked the eight you see that you see that point there then i'm going to draw another straight line out of here now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to curve my ample let me make the line stronger so that the camera can pick it up well okay so this is the line i just made now the 8 inch line now to curve my armhole 
now the front of your body is smaller than the back of your body so most times we have to recognize that um at the armhole so the, you're going to come to the middle of the armhole now from here to here is eight as you guys know already i'm going to come to four and i'm going to make a marker at four right there you see this from the four you see this look at where i'm rotating my tape i'm going to fold my tape in place half an inch you see this here this is one inch the middle of one inch is half i'm going to place half an inch on this point right here you see that point i just made a mark okay and i'm going to make a mark at half an inch okay you can see that right there okay now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to now make a curve all right so I'm, first i'm making a curve from up here it hits that point okay curve from off here from up here hits this point and then i curve out okay and then i cover up <laughs> so yeah that's we are almost done with the front pattern so remember that up here always draw a parallel line okay now you see this part here you see this slope that i sloped you see, everything that slope that i slope if you end up not skipping not drawing this line here this line on top is going to act as your sewing allowance if you don't keep this line here and you draw this line here and you put your scissors here and cut by the time you go to your machine what you end up doing is you have to sew half an inch and by the time you do that you've affected you have affected a lot of things you've affected your neckline you've affected your armhole because the line will come from here and run straight down to the bottom if you don't add this allowance at the top you've affected your neckline you've affected your armhole yeah and then um, you know that is going to raise your neckline up by half an inch and make your armhole smaller um now uh we're almost done with the front the last thing we're going to do is keep because you notice we still have this here remember when we're folding our fabric we did our bust divided by our bust divided by um by four plus our allowance because the bust is the biggest part of the measurements in because of what we are making and we had um we ended up with 12 okay so from here to here is my remaining two inches of allowance so i'm going to just extend this line to the end this is the edge of my fabric in case the um, camera is not picking it up okay now there's the last thing about the jacket that you need to know is if you look at the front of a bomber jacket you will see that it has this this angle you see that it has that angle in front now that angle right most times it is stitched on okay but it's sometimes it's stitched on but most times it is not what we are going to do now is we're going to have to make space for that angle inside this body's block that we have right now you see this block that we have right now we're going to have to make a space for that inside this block now how are we going to do that first of all you need to know the size of the you need to know the size of the rib you are using now you see this thing here this is what we this is what they used to use for the um as the this is the accessory used for the cuff area and the bottom of the jacket you see that there yeah this is how it comes i have i have um colors look at me as if i'm selling by now so let's five five hundred five five hundred five five hundred select 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 anyway so as you see this is how it comes okay so um yeah you have to know the size of this part here that you are working with okay if you see there's some very very big ones i can't remember but there was a there was a company that nike did a collab with they had this crazy bomber jacket that had this massive um rib on the side i think it was acronym or something but it was it was insane now um yeah you need to know the size of this so this one is three inches meaning 2.5 is what we have at the end of the day and this is the one i'm using for the jacket so i know that my rib is going to show 2.5 so what i'm going to do is this you see this end here okay let me move the table up a bit you see this end that we have here now the from here to here you can make a make a mark at three inches okay make a mark at three inches then up here like so you're going to come here and you're going to make a mark at 2.5 if you're dealing with a rib that's bigger you're going to need to adjust that accordingly okay so from here to here so yeah you're not you're wondering what is three inches in these three inches it's um it's um it's whatever you want to do if you want to have a jacket something like what um is made by a brand called sakai where they have the insane you know look in front of the jacket yeah you can do that if you want to you know reduce it a traditional jacket by alpha industries like i had mentioned you can do that at this point so this three inches here is not controlled by anything it's controlled by whatever you are doing and your creativity but this one here is controlled by the size of the rib that you are working with i hope that's clear so from here to here is 2.5 the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to draw a straight line from here straight out you see this 2.5 that we have here the size of our rib this is how this is how the rib will enter at the end of the day now you're getting an idea of what we are doing so this is the body of the jacket the rib is going to continue like this from the front all the way into the back 
all right so from here i'm going to draw a straight line that's going to come outside okay and the very last thing is i'm going to add half inch of allowance as the bottom part here because we're going to need to finish this down part neatly okay so that's it for the front i'm going to cut it out now So this is the pattern for the front let me show you guys how we cut the back when we are we are done cutting off the front it's time to cut the back so right now i'm simply going to place my um front on top of the fabric okay after folding i'm going to need to readjust because i think i folded a bit much so i need to readjust so that i economize the amount of fabric that i use okay so now, after you folded your fabric properly, what we'll just simply do is place the front on the back and we'll cut out. But please mind you, you see this half an inch that I kept for my zipper allowance. The back doesn't have a zip, at, the back doesn't have any zip, so it doesn't need a zipper allowance. So, you see this, I'm going to push half inch, that half inch in front, look at where this is. Okay, this is sitting half inch in front of where the one underneath is sitting. Alright, so that's what I'm going to do. Now, the back and the front are basically the same thing. The only place where you find um, a little difference is at the a difference is at the neck. Okay, the neck is going to be higher than at the back than at the front because if you make the neckline at the back too low, you end up having a problem. Uh, so that is what you're trying to avoid. You don't want to have uh, any discrepancy. You don't want a neckline at the back that is too deep. If not what will happen is that the back will be too low so um yeah and then also another difference is that at the bottom part here you see this at the down part of the jacket okay at this part here you're not going to you're going to need to cut the lining to be the same size with this so please watch what i'm doing all right so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to rule see this first line i had here i'm going to continue that line okay now see the point you see this point now the first shoulder point here okay i've drawn out a line half an inch okay from here from this new line that i have i'm going to come down another half inch you see that this is the original line this is the new line i have and i'm going to make a curve so but i've dropped the neck the armhole is going to basically be the same thing only that it will be half inch bigger than the um than the front okay so you see this the armhole is half inch out because you remember we went in by half an inch in the front we don't need that at the back so we're going to need to bring this out and another thing is that at the bottom part here you see this part here this line here is where the jacket stops all right so you see this point here now i'm going to simply extend this line all the way out because the that rib that comes from here the rib i'm going to add to here it comes from the front and goes all the way into the back all right so you're going to need to you're going to need to shorten the back so the back stays short all right so i'm going to cut this out all right we're going to need to cut the sleeve for the jacket okay now if you want to learn how to cut the sleeve i have videos on a video on this channel the second video on this channel what's the second video yeah the second video on this channel will show you how to draft a sleeve for this jacket it's still the same method that i thought that i'm going to use but if there's and if there's any difference i'm going to um show you guys when i'm cutting the sleeve but that's it basically i've cut my front and my back notice the neckline at the back is a bit high all right so please make sure that you do that on your own um jacket too and also keep this part here the same length with this part that we have here the armhole is different okay so now let me draft the sleeve so that we can cut the lining okay so um well, i'm drafting the sleeve now as you can see this is the inner part of my sleeve the outer part of my sleeve best believe me you want to watch the video on how to draft the sleeve if you have not seen that now the reason why i'm showing you guys um this part because um this is a long sleeve first of all so i took my sleeve length and my sleeve length was 24 which is what i have here now if you notice i don't have any allowance at the bottom now that's for a reason at the end of the sleeve we are going to still add um a rib uh, um, to the end of the sleeve okay we're going to still add a little rib to the end of the sleeve and this is going to um pay for whatever i have not added there now one the reason why i'm why i brought you guys here is um 
when you are drafting your sleeve for a bomber jacket please i know that because you are adding this guy to the length you feel like you should cut um this part here off here and then um before if you're adding two or uh, 2.5 you should cut 2.5 or cut two inches so by the time you add this there it, it pays for whatever please do not reduce the length of your sleeve if you reduce the length of your sleeve because of this rib that you are adding somehow magically i'm talking about real life experience here this is not measurement this is not my mathematics it's like there's jazz behind this thing if you shorten your sleeve because of this you're going to end up with a sleeve that has a little crop i don't know how it always happens now i'm telling you guys you have your sleeve down of 24 keep it at 24 and add the rib now bomber jackets generally say they're supposed to have a, it's, um, it's supposed to have a little stack at the end of your sleeve anyway so what the hell but please do not reduce the fabric because you intend to add rib to it okay so please if your length sleeve length 24 make it 24 um so it's 24 here the distance around her cuff was seven seven is 3.5 i'm adding two inches of allowance so two inches of allowance which is going to make that 5.5 i'm simply going to draw a line from here you know, straight to this part here okay and i'm going to cut it out so this is how i draft my um my sleeve okay so i'm going to cut here i would show you guys how i cut out the sleeve because i know a lot of you that are new to the channel are seeing two lines at this point and you're like okay let's see the line that he will cut i will not show you go and watch the sleeve video i will not show you you think i'm playing i'll i'll not show you okay so after cutting up all the pieces i have okay i've gone ahead to cut the lining okay i cut the lining for the front i've cut the lining for the back and cut the lining for the sleeve let me just tell you guys what i did because I didn't really do a lot so i didn't want to add extra to take more of your time than i'm taking already now you see this part here this is the front okay you can tell from the neckline now the front because of the way i place it to cut um it's still joined together so you're going to need to divide the front into two remember i said that we kept this half inch space here because of the zipper um allowance all right so now we have to divide the front if you notice i have used orange lining okay and i use orange lining because i'm trying to stick to the roots of of how the bomber jackets came about all right now the reason why i use orange lining or why i like using brightly colored lining in my bomber jackets is because the bomber jacket was originally made for pilots right and the idea is that when a pilot crashes and of course the, his um his um rescue team will come to look for him he's supposed to reverse the jacket inside out and wear the inside of the jacket so it's not it is reversible but it's supposed to be reversed when the pilot um needs to be found easily and bright colors like um like um neon and orange are very very easy for you to spot from a long distance so that is why i use brightly colored linings when it comes to my jacket trying to stay true to what the jacket was made to be so now that we are done with um with that this is the um sleeve i also did the same thing for the back i cut the lining too to be exactly the same you can see the pattern is exactly the same with what i have here okay so it's the same at the bottom the same at the neckline the same everywhere okay and that also goes for my lining all right you see this this is the curve for the inside of the sleeve this other curve here is for the outside of the sleeve the same thing here the same curve on the inside both on my lining and on my fabric all right so now the last thing is also this part too i cut the lining okay like so everywhere here is exactly the same the last thing we're going to need to do to all these pieces after we're done cutting this is part one of this video the part two is going to come really really soon we're going to need um fleece interfacing now you see this part feasible fleece interfacing now this is like the this is an um some sort of interfacing that we use to stabilize and also harden our fabric to give more body to our fabric in nigeria it's called wadding okay but if you're in the us or other countries um you can look for fusible fleece interfacing so it feels like fleece okay it feels like um fleece and then it has an adhesive on one side the side that has the adhesive the heat activated adhesive has some shine to it okay so now i'm going to iron this part on and i'm going to show you guys how it feels but basically we're done um with with the cutting you're going to repeat this exact same process Process, okay to all the fabric pattern side okay so now you see this see the part that has the yellow pattern okay that's the two sides of the front the one side of the back the two sleeves you're going to have to repeat this exact same process for all those sides okay
Okay, so I'm simply going to repeat the same thing for all the remaining sides. Okay, so this is just one piece. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a nice evening.